I'm Kyle De Checo. I live in Marlow, and I'm a rigger scaffolder. And I've been lucky enough to work local the last three three years. So it's been a good good journey. Had plenty of time to work on the boat and go for a dive. So we're just uh, having a cook up, cooking up some ab and a couple of crows. We've got we've got today. So it's a sort of spot that a lot of people don't know about. You know, it's pretty quiet, especially over winter. Some, you, sometimes you've got the whole place to yourself. In one day, you can you can have a dive and have a fish of an arvo and and uh, get the best of both worlds here. Abalone's, you know, in good numbers here, so it's you're always guaranteed a feed of ab, and if you get a cray, it's a bit of a bonus. So they normally sit sit on the edge of their ledge, just waiting for something to come past, and um, he happened to run into me and. And uh, yeah, Wooshka got him out. That's what I love about diving, you know, you're just always looking, looking, just working, trying to find them. And when you do see one, it, it's, you can't describe the, um, the feeling you get when you see a big cray sitting there. That just makes you want to keep going back. I've got a yeah, hooker unit on the back of my boat that um, bolts on the back where the bait board normally sits. So it, um, it sits up high, which is not ideal, but with that boat, it gives you just enough room for a couple of divers to get their gear on and um, jump in. So, uh, yeah, it's a little Hain 17L I did up. Um, it's easy to handle, easy to tow. For a 17 foot boat, they handle really well. They definitely punch above their weight for what they are, you know. Yeah, I brought it just as hull only and um, run it for a bit just as as it was and then um, yeah the time come I just pulled it apart ripped it into bits and um, yeah molded the gun molded the, the top deck of the gunnels and extended the back and uh, yeah there it is <laughs> I, I use just ply with this build like just the fact that it is cheap and it's easy to get and yeah, I just put a 12 mil ply floor in it with glass either sides and all the bulkheads are just 12 mil ply and the stringers was a 25 mil ply and then a, I think a 15 with uh, glass sandwiched in between it. That was a full molded wave breaker. Yeah, so obviously built the shape out of plywood and, and then uh, fared that and then flopped the mold off it and then built the wave breaker out of that. Yeah, a lot of time just went into the wave breaker. And then, yeah, cut the windows in and did the windows on it. This was the first sort of job I really did with stainless. So it was just to suck it and see it. And I went and brought a bender and a roller and just had a crack and just learnt from um, yeah, the internet and just yeah, winged it and that's what I ended up with. <laughs> the dive door hinge and latch I made myself you know, just, there's a lot of stuff you can't buy what, what I want. I don't like paying people to do things. Yeah, basically start from the trailer. That was the old trailer, it was a full roller trailer. I um, yeah, cut all the rollers out of it and skidded the whole thing and then got it re-galled re and um, got, um, yeah, galled guards for it. And, um, and then you go to the hull, I did, yeah, all the glass work everything myself. Yeah, so that 175 Zuki, I um, got that from the States um, as a crate motor and I had it on my old boat and uh, yeah, ripped it off and threw it on this and it's been a good thing. I've got 650 hours, hasn't uh, missed a beat, touch wood. So yeah, with the fuel, it, um, yeah, I'm getting 0.7 of a litre per kilometre which is, I believe, is pretty good, I think. Yeah. And um, caught plenty of pink ling out there and stuff, but never cracked a sword. And yeah, the other day, me and a mate went out and uh, yeah, we finally got a hook in one and we were hour 45 on the rod and got it boat side. And, yeah, it's something that I've never had the um, feeling on a rod before is yeah, the power they've got. And we're drinking daddy. Sword. <laughs> <laughs> You get, you finally get them up on the top shot. You think, yeah, right, oh, this, this is it, and then they'll just go, nah, I'm going back down. So. You fucking cunt! 
use, I stick with Shimano, that's, um, that's been good. It all starts from growing up as a kid, I think. Like you just, you buy a Shimano reel and then you just stick with it. And it, the high quality Shimano stuff is good, good gear. So you get what you pay for with any sort of tackle, I believe. Yeah, so I decided to go with Simrad. Yeah, it's, the Simrad is good value for um, the technology you get with the units straight up. Like, they're beautiful screen and like, I got the S5100 with a high wide and a low. And, you know, I can go out in 500 and mark swords and and come in and mark kingies on, on the reef. So, I've got best of both worlds. Yeah, Evo 3, they've got two nine inch screens. I'd love to have twin 12s, but I just haven't got the room. <laughs> yeah, I've always got one of my mates with me. Um, I normally go through, you know, start here and then he's no good, he's no good. Sliding through, yeah, give me a ring, yep, yeah, he's on. So just, just a matter of finding someone. You know, you never know every day you go out what can happen, like, you can be having the shittest day and then all of a sudden a mako turns up at your boat or you hook something that you think, what is this? And you find out that it's a metre kingy and you're not even fishing for them. So you just never know what you're going to turn up with. Yeah, I just love the thrill of yeah, getting out in the morning and, and seeing what the ocean's got to offer. Yeah, Conran, a lot of people have had problems with it. Um, you know, it's definitely, you got to pick your day. Uh, I'll blame me decky, it wasn't my fault, no. <laughs> No, we got caught in the sand because the tide was out and um, the trailer just stuck in the sand, sand and we were just spinning in the old Ilux and just had to run the winch out as you do and winched her out. There we are. Shush your ass. The camera off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs>